Hi everyone, you may have a Siemens 1200 CPU laying around, one of those maybe in your lab or in the office and you want to connect it to Simumatic. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video, but even if you don't have one of those and you are using PLC Sim, I'm going to show you a little trick to do it as well. So let's get it started. I just log in in the Simumatic app. I'm going to open an online server very quickly and we are going to open the system that we are going to load the system called um, well, Siemens 1200 CPU. So let's load that system. And this is just a system I have prepared with some components so we can have some uh, possibilities to do different kinds of programming. As you will see now, we have here the PLC, the CPU that we are going to be programming. But we also have some few buttons and lamps. We have a little conveyor with two sensors and a pneumatic cylinder, a single acting cylinder. So all the connections are, are already done. This is a special PLC that uses the S7 protocol. So it's not gonna, we are not gonna be using OPC, U, OPC UA because uh, PLC SIM doesn't uh, allow that. We are talking about PLC SIM and not PLC SIM Advance. So we are gonna be using this special component that we have created with this uh, SHU protocol driver. And the connections are, as you can see here, we have uh, the three buttons here connected to the first three, three inputs. Then we have the B1 and B2 sensors connected to the next uh, input, three and four. And finally, we have this cylinder sensor connected to the five uh, input. And for the outputs, we have uh, the first three in outputs are connected to these three lamps. Then we have the motor contactor connected to the third and fourth. And finally, the valve to command this cylinder is connected to the last output. So this PLC has up to 14 inputs and up to 10 outputs digital ones. Then we have also the possibility to add two analog inputs and two analog outputs. So uh, let's uh, move to TIA portal. We are going to create a project. Let's call it a test 100. And we are going to select the CPU that uh, I have here behind me. I have a 1212 CPU. So we are going to configure that device. We are going to add the, the device to the project. Let's go here and take the 1200, uh, this one, ACDC relay. And we have to start doing some few settings in the project in order to allow the communication with Simomat. So now the project is created. So we just go here to the PLC and we are going to double click in the CPU and we are going to start doing the protection or security settings. We are going to make sure that we have allowed full access to the PLC. That is because we want Simomatic to be able to communicate with it. And because we are going to be using this S7 protocol, we need to check this box here, allow input and get communication. So once we do that, now we can start defining the um, IP address of our PLC. So let's come here. Uh, we are going to set the IP address of the PLC behind it is uh, this one. And we are going to add a new subnet. That is important as well in order to allow this PLC communicate with other devices like my computer. And finally, uh, we just need to make sure that the inputs, when the inputs are written to the CPU from Simumatic, the scan cycle is not overwriting them because it's reading the real ones from the input port. So how we do that, we just come here to the input 
device and we make sure that at least the inputs we don't add them to the scan cycle so it's not they are the input memory is not going to be refreshed with the scan cycle if you use uh, analog um, analog inputs as well you need to do the same here let's let's prepare it for that so once we have done this we're basically ready to download this project to the cpu so let's uh, click here and try to download so we are gonna it's gonna open the communication window we need to select the ethernet card that we are going to be using let's make a search and hopefully hopefully now we will see yes here is the real cpu that i have here behind me so let's download the program Go ahead, we are going to stop the CPU. And this is common procedure. So let's say that we want to start a module one is uh, the download is finished. So now we have our project settings done. Let's go to the program block and do some very simple programming so we know we have the first button connected to the first input and the first lamp one of the lamps connected to the first output so let's make a very simple connection so let's take uh, ib0 i0.0 the first input and connect it to the first output okay so now we have this program done let's download it to the device and at this point we can click here in the googles and we should be able to see what's going on in the real cpu so now it's time to open both Simomatic and Tia Portal. We are going to activate the gateway. I'm just going to click play to make sure that we get the communication. As you can see here, I didn't change the IP address in the default settings of this system. So make sure that you change here to the IP address of the PLC that you are testing against. And now if I click play, we should see that this is getting the communication. So at this point, if I press S1, you see how the program here is uh, updated and we see how the lamp is working. It was so easy and from here we can actually start programming any of these uh, devices here. But now let's say you don't have the real CPU, but you want to use PLCC. So back to Tia portal, we are gonna go offline. Okay, we disconnect from the real from the real PLC and we are gonna activate PLCC. So let of course you need to have it installed, but let's say you have it installed and it's gonna ask you to activate the support for simulating blocks let's just say yes okay and this will start plcc so at this point we just need to make sure we get connection to the uh, to plcc and we are gonna make a download of the same project exactly the same i didn't change any setting we are gonna do the uh, download to the plcc instead and we are gonna the starter module. So now exactly the same as before, we can go online and we can actually see this uh, the program, what's going on, but in this case in PLCC. Now 
in order to allow Simomatic to communicate with uh, PLC Sim, we need a program called Net to PLC Sim. So I'm gonna show you this uh, website. Let's just Google Net to PLC Sim or just go to this address directly. It's a very very useful uh, program, and as I'm telling you, it's gonna make the bridge between any program and PLCC using the same protocol that we are using to connect to the real one. So we just need to download the latest version as I already did. I have it here. You just uh, read the documentation. It's very short and very useful, very well written. So you just need to start the program and it's gonna tell you maybe that the port 102, the one just for the um, S7 protocol is in use and it recommends you to start uh, the program as administrator. So we cancel this, close the program and let's start this as an administrator. When you do that, uh, as uh, you can see here, it's telling us that we have the same issue, but in this case, I'm gonna try to stop the service and it goes well. So now we have the port 102 ready for us. So what we need to do at this point is just to tell that we are gonna add a new PLC and here we select which is the network card we are gonna use and here we can select the PLC SIM instance running in this computer but we have an issue here because it's not shown and this is because when we stop that service that was blocking the 102 we actually somehow uh, made the PLC SIM uh, break so we need to go back to the portal and close this and start just start a new PLC SIM instance. So click back here. This is something you do just once when you uh, first time you need to stop the service, then the net to PLC SIM is gonna work like a charm. So now again, we have the very quickly a new PLC SIM instance. We download the project as we did before to this instance. Let's start the module we can go online actually activate the googles and we should see now that uh, here we can see now the PSC instance so because it's a 1200 cpu we are gonna select here one and just click ok so here we have already prepared a little bridge between Simomatic and PLC Sim. So let's start this. And now in Simomatic I didn't change anything, but we can go here and replace the IP address for 125, which is the one that I have here, the network address for the my own computer network address and I just click OK. So from here I should be able to click play and now I'm connected, Simomatic is connected to PLCC. Let's see what happens here. If I press this button you see now the program is working exactly the same as before but in this case we are running against PLCC. I hope you liked the video, so don't forget to give us a like and write any comment regarding if you managed to complete the tutorial or if you actually connect the system to another kind of PLC or CPU. As you have seen, you have many components in the system, so you can do different programs and connect them differently. So tell us what you did, what you managed to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.